Hi there. In this video, I'm going to be going over the workflow improvements related to material presets that are available in the latest release of TextMesh Pro. So let's take a quick look. So up until now, you always had the ability to create and uh, assign material presets to your text objects. And the way this used to be done in terms of creation is you would navigate to your material inspector and to create a new material preset for Arial SDF, you would right click on the header of the material inspector and then you would use the duplicate material option to create your material preset. And as you'd click on duplicate, it would automatically create a copy of the current material and then assign the copy to their current text object and then you could modify the properties in order to retain the new settings. Now you could always click on the gear icon uh, and right now you're not seeing the selection because it's off screen, but it's the same as right clicking on the header. Okay. Now, in terms of assigning material presets, you could always navigate to your materials. And in this case, I created a shortcut where I'm using lowercase t uh, colon material, which basically that's a type. So I said I'm looking for type material. And then it would pull up all the materials in my project. So since I'm using Arial SDF, I could always grab a material like the outline Arial SDF outline and drag it over the material inspector and when I release uh, you would see that now it's got an outline if I do the same thing with Arial SDF drop shadow you can see that it's automatically changing or assigning the material preset to my text object so the workflow improvements are as follows so now I added this extra line here um, in the text object inspector which now allows you to select a material preset right from here and what's nice is not only can you select it but as you click on it it shows you the material presets already available for this current material the issue with the drag and drop is if you were trying to drag a preset from another font then it wouldn't work because obviously the font atlas textures didn't match so now if I'm to switch so for example for Arial SDF Let's pick our outline again. Let's pick our drop shadow. So this makes it so much easier now to select your presets. Now if I'm to switch fonts uh, or font asset and pick bangers, for example, now you'll see that the preset list has changed to show me the ones that are available for bangers. Now another minor change indirectly related to this is now you also have the ability to drag any material over the material inspector so for example if I find impact drop shadow now I'm dragging an, a material that's related to impact on an object that's using bangers and TextMesh Pro will now automatically switch to the matching font asset that corresponds to the preset I just dragged in so as you saw it switched from bangers to actually using impact and it also updated the material preset to say we're using the, air, uh, the impact SDF drop shadow. But again, you can see the list of presets available that I've created for myself for the impact font asset. So this covers basically this uh, new workflow improvement and feature uh, as it pertains to material presets. Should you have any questions uh, or comments, please feel free to post on the TextMesh Pro user form. Thanks.